Hey guys, it's Michael. Welcome back to Michael in the Morning. Today is Thursday, August 6, 2020, and we have a lot of big news to cover on the second stimulus check and second stimulus package update. Later today, top congressional Democrats and White House officials will be meeting again to try and come to an agreement on the second stimulus package. We're going to go over what specific details are holding them up and what they're planning on discussing today. Next up, we're going to go over the specific timeline of the next relief bill and how top Democrats and and White House officials said that tomorrow is the day that they will come to an agreement by. We're also going to go over how Mark Meadows, he said if we don't come to an agreement by tomorrow, things get a lot more difficult moving forward and it becomes a lot less likely that we will have the next relief bill. Then on to the Chicago Federal Reserve and how they were urging Congress to pass more stimulus yesterday, specifically about the enhanced unemployment benefits. And finally, we're going to get into why Mitch McConnell has not been taking part in negotiations the last couple of days, why he is not directly involved in these meetings because a lot of people have been curious. But before we get started, I wanted to remind you guys to enter today's $50 free stock giveaway. All you need to do to be eligible is like the video down below, be subscribed to my channel, and comment down below your favorite stock. I'll be giving one person $50 in the stock that they choose using an app called Stockpile, and I'll be announcing the winner in my second video today. Also, if you don't want to enter, you can still go ahead and get $5 immediately when you download the Acorns Investment app and get two free stocks valued up to $1,400 when you download the Webull Investing app using the link down below as well. Anyways, let's jump right into it. So top congressional Democrats and White House officials will try again today on Thursday to find a compromise on legislation for the second stimulus package. As talks start to near the end of the second week of negotiations, the four principal negotiators Negotiators, Stephen Mnuchin, Mark Meadows, Chuck Schumer, and Nancy Pelosi appear to be near an agreement on some topics, but still trillions of dollars apart on major issues such as the size of the enhanced unemployment benefits for tens of millions of unemployed workers. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said on Tuesday that she still wants a sweeping stimulus deal this week, but she made it clear that she is not budging on the price tag put forward by House Democrats, which is $3.4 trillion dollars. When asked if she had an idea of the price tag she's willing to settle for, maybe she's willing to go down, she said bluntly that $3.4 trillion is what she is willing to settle for and she doesn't want to spend any less than that. This is an area where there's a big disagreement right now because the deal that the Republicans proposed just last week was only $1 trillion, so they still are trillions of dollars apart. Steven Mnuchin said we're not going anything close to $3.4 trillion and how that's just ridiculous. Senate Republicans have proposed the $1 trillion package and even with that amount, other Senate Republicans have said they're not going to pass it. It's too much. So if they go more than $1 trillion, they're going to lose more people to vote yes for this bill and it's simply not an option. Next up, the White House and Congressional Democrats are running up against their self-imposed Friday deadline, which is tomorrow, to strike a deal on the next relief package with little signs that they've narrowed the most fundamental issues. Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin told reporters yesterday after nearly two hours of debate that we're trying to get a deal that's good for the American public and good for American workers. He explained how our objective is to try to reach an agreement of the major issues by Friday and how if we can't reach an agreement, it's going to become more and more difficult to complete a deal. Mark Meadows said the same thing and he explained how Republicans have already given up more ground than Democrats in the talks and he explained that if a deal was still out of reach by the end of this week and they don't come to an agreement by the end of this week, President Donald Trump is prepared to use executive authority to provide forbearance on student loans, impose a moratorium on evictions, and extend supplemental unemployment insurance payments. So this is good news. Either way, if they don't come to an agreement, it sounds like either President Trump will pass some sort of executive actions to make sure we get more money, or Congress will have to come to a deal by the end of tomorrow. Mark Meadows goes on to explain how he'd become extremely doubtful that we'll be able to make a deal if it goes well beyond Friday. But later he clarified that the end of the week was not a drop dead date. If they didn't get one by Friday, that doesn't mean we won't see one. However, he explained his optimism will continue to diminish the closer we get to Friday and how it certainly falls off a cliff exponentially after 
Friday. He said, I think at this point, we're either going to get serious about negotiating and get an agreement in principle, or since they've been spending so much time de debating and negotiating the last couple days, if they're not making progress, there's simply no sense to continue meeting and there's no sense to continue. So that is why he believes we need to get something done by Friday. After more than a week of negotiations, Mnuchin, Mark Meadows, Chuck Schumer, and Nancy Pelosi said that they still have significant differences to bridge, including the enhanced unemployment benefits, which just expired last week. Nancy Pelosi told reporters that I feel optimistic that there is light at the end of the tunnel, but how long the tunnel is remains to be seen. Pelosi and Schumer have pushed for a comprehensive package to include money for unemployment, the poor, hospitals, schools, and state and local governments. These are some of the major issues they are still facing right now, especially with state and local governments, funding for them, and also funding for unemployment. So those are two major issues right now. Finally, Chicago Federal Reserve President Charles Evans said the U.S. economy would face a much steeper climb if Congress fails to pass more stimulus and extend the enhanced unemployment benefits. He told reporters that trouble is brewing with the expiration of these relief policies, and he explains that if we go long without somehow addressing the reduction in the unemployment benefits, I think it's going to show up in a lower aggregate demand and that we would be very costly for the U.S. economy. So he says we need to have more stimulus moving forward. And lastly, Mitch McConnell, a lot of people have been questioning why he hasn't been in the debates as of recently, why he isn't taking part in them. While McConnell is getting briefed regularly on the talks, he has chosen to not join the closed door discussions with Steven Mnuchin, Mark Meadows, Nancy Pelosi, and Chuck Schumer. He said Donald Trump is the only person who can sign legislation into a law, so the White House should take the lead. This doesn't really make a lot of sense because it still needs to pass the Senate as well. So Mitch McConnell still plays a major role in a bill passing. So let me know in the comments down below what you think about this, why he isn't taking part in negotiations. Anyways, that's just a quick update on what is going on today with the second stimulus check and second stimulus package. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to get $5 immediately when you download the Acorns investment app and get two free stocks valued up to $1,400 when you download the Webull investing app using the link down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like the video down below, leave a comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.